Thanks, Lindsay. We're chatting it up over here because school is officially back in session, right? And the excitement of heading back to class may be fading pretty fast, but there are a few ways to keep the fun alive and inspire your kiddos during their school day. So here to show off a few creative ideas, it smells good too, is please welcome Dad 2.0 blogger John Pacini. Good morning to you, John. Morning, Thanks Rita. for coming. Thanks for having me. Um, so I'm seeing stars is what I'm seeing. So, so what do we have? There's all kinds of great stuff here. Well, you know, school's officially back in session. We're trying to find ways to connect with the kids and yeah. inspire them during the school day. And so we went to some top bloggers, parent bloggers, and look to them for inspiration. Started with lunchboxdad.com, uh, Bo Coffrin, and he does these amazing lunchbox creations. And they're a lot fancier than this, but this was a beginner's uh, attempt here. And uh, you can see on the screen the, some of his uh, videos right there. But the key there is that cookie cutters are your friend. Okay? okay, cookie cutters, with a cookie cutter, you can make some amazing uh, little creations here. And you can see here on set, we have, uh, we have a starfish over blueberries. Uh, and that's just a turkey and cheese sandwich. We have a, a fresh in time for fall. We have a, uh, a pimento cheese sandwich mm. shaped like a pumpkin on some uh, fresh cut carrots. So a lot of great things you can do here with that and inspire the kids, give them something that really will just kind of brighten their day when they open their lunchbox. And you can do this pretty fast too, right? Absolutely. I mean, this, this is, is Each quick. one of these took about three minutes. So okay. um, if you want to get more creative, you can. Uh, Bo only does it once a week, mm -hmm. recommends doing it. Um, just, you know, do it Sunday night, pack it up. It's ready to go Monday morning and it's a nice treat to start the week. You know for a lot of parents that say oh I just don't have the time to do it in the morning prepare the lunch the yep. night before like you just mentioned. Okay so let's yep. say you don't have the the cookie cutters here you don't yep. have any of the fancy schmancy time um, what else can you do? You know let's say that's not your thing maybe drawing or writing a note to your child. Okay. And so uh, we went to uh, blogger Brent Almond uh, he has designerdaddy.com and he started a really neat thing he's obviously a designer very creative but he started drawing little post-it notes and putting yeah. it in the lunch to inspire his son and things like a is for awesome with Captain America, uh -huh. or you know, uh, you know, put our listening ears on with Batman, uh, Batman's face. And so, you know, even if that's not your thing, write them a little note, make it customized, touch them. Children are such visual communicators yeah. that if you just draw them a little picture, it could be a really special thing for their day. And so, if it's not a picture, it can easily be a, a note like "I am loving," "I am beautiful," "I am kind." Certain, certainly, the ones that you brought with you exactly. today. Exactly. So, this is from the website TeachMama.com, Amy Westcott. So, this is a printable PDF from the website. You can print it out, cut these little notes out, say things like, I am a leader, I am beautiful, yeah. uh, I choose my attitude. So some really, really inspirational things. You can cut these out, have them ready to go in a little jar, put them in their lunchbox and really inspire them throughout the day. You know, John, certainly a little goes a long way, right? Because I know when we were growing up, my mom used to say, there's a surprise in your lunchbox and we would wait all day long for that surprise. And right. it would be just a little note or maybe like a little sticker. That's right. um, so any other tips you want to give our parents? No, you know, I think left? that don't stop when they get older. That's the thing is it's easy to look at these things and a starfish sandwich and a, and a drawing of the Hulk and say that's great for kids that are six, seven years old under. But send them notes. When they get into high school, send them a text message. Those when they get into college, send important. them a text message. Exactly. Hey, when they're out in their careers, still working working hard, send them a message. Absolutely. Goes a long way. Thanks, John. Jose. Well, we still have a lot coming up.